Today I wanted to make a video um, about a few carving boards that I have, uh, three of them that I've ridden and one of them that I have not, and uh, one that I just got to ride yesterday. So this is the 2015-2016 uh, Nidecker Gun. Um, super cool board, super cool shape. Definitely has uh, this cool little diamond tail, which we'll talk about what's, what's that good for, and this really cool, you know, rockered out nice rockered out pintail nose and uh, a few things that I've noticed yesterday after riding this board is it solidified my opinions when it came to uh, Nidecker in general to their snowboards um, because I got this board and this donuts right here in a package deal and I've never ridden any Nidecker boards before and after riding this one in the donuts I am able to suggest to people that Nidecker is at this time making quality boards and I'm assuming that they're still making high quality boards so um, I, I know that Nidecker is like literally one of the largest companies uh, to own a crap ton of other things Nidecker I believe owns Jones I don't know if they own Jones but they're like you know uh, the head manufacturing people of Jones it's like a subsidiary and uh, they own Flow, they own Battalion, they own a ton of other stuff. So, Heidecker is a big player in the snowboarding world. That's why I was like, there's no way these boards don't rock. And these boards do rock. So, uh, a little bit about this board. Yesterday at Keystone, the snow was great, the groomers were, were really great, and uh, this thing carved like crazy. It, it, it definitely was mega fast, has that 9900 centered base, same as the donuts. Um, it has a nine meter side cut, which is, you know, you can get it around fairly easily um, at, at higher speeds, but at, at more, you know, slow speeds just starting out, you'll feel that edge just trying to just take you on a ride, dude. Either you're going heel side or toe side. So she doesn't really like to go slow at all. That's not what this board is for, but for anybody that's riding this board, I don't think you're, this, you're a beginner. I don't think you're somebody that's going to be like, whoa, this is so hard to turn because I go like 10 miles an hour. Yeah, but this is not the board for you. Um, uh, the things that really shined on this board was the carving capabilities. It was insane. Um, the speed, it was insane. And then it was really cool because I was able to actually get this board in a little bit of pow, like six inches of pow. Uh, me and my bud found an area um, that had some leftover pow. And uh, this nose was awesome. It was, uh, this pintail nose was just digging right through the pow. Um, this rocker shape was really just keeping the, this board out. And I think with this more uh, slim waist width, I think this has a small amount of taper. I'm not, I couldn't find anything online. I know it said that the uh, foot, front foot um, waist width was like 264 and the back foot at the insert packs was 263. Um, millimeters and you know at 256 waist width you know it's gonna have some sort of taper but I don't know the exact tail tip width so but I think it has a minimal amount of taper it's nothing crazy um, but it is more slim compared to like this 3d double dog behind me and I believe it's a little bit more slimmer than this battalion carver that I'm gonna talk about here soon but the difference between this gun and the donuts was that I took this in mobiles and it handled exceptional. I don't know honestly why, uh, too much of why it did because the specs are very similar, the shapes are very similar, the cambers are very similar, um, and in essence I thought the 154 would handle better in mobiles than this 161, but maybe it has something to do with this pintail nose, this rockered up nose right here. Um, Maybe it's had something to do with where the com contact points engage on a 161 at my way. You know, something, I don't know what it was, but um, I would not feel bad at all riding this board in mobiles and in the trees as I took it in there and it, and it, it handled really, really well. So, uh, very impressed with this board. Don't think I'm going to put this board up for sale. I think I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit and get some more fun days on it because I, I really liked it. Um, not to say that this donuts because that's up for sale that it's it's a shitty board. Um, they're very comparable. The edge hold, the carving capabilities. You get this board on really good groomer snow, and you get this donuts on really good groomer snow. Um, they handle edge wise, heel and toe at my weight, very very comparable. Um, it's only when you were to get in like very firm snow, there are a little more icy patches and stuff. Uh, 
I had a little bit more grip and edge hold with this 161 in my way. I feel like that at that 161 it really spread it out. So um, really excited yesterday riding this board and really in general just to be stoked to be able to recommend Knight Ecker boards to anyone that's in, in, the, in the area for buying a new board. And they want something a little bit more traditional shape, a little bit more old school tech uh, as far as like the shape, because this is this is old school camber shapes. This is this is no no glitz and glam. You know this is this is what snowboarding was, and uh, it handles great. So uh, really stoked about this board. I'm not going to go too far into depth on the donuts. I've already done a video on that, um, but this board. Literally same same year making models, um, just different different boards, but they're great. They're they're kind of twins in essence, but I think this gun just handles pow a little bit better. And I would like another day on this donuts and slam my stance a little bit further back and see if that gets me a little bit more looser and, and be able to appreciate this donuts a little bit more. I think I think that would change my opinion on the donuts if I were to set the stance back. Um, Really cool board that I have right here. Uh, yesterday, while I rode the gun for the first time, I let my buddy ride my Karua Stealth. Um, if you know about Karua, you know what they do, you know what they're made for. I don't really need to go into that. Maybe when I get it back, I'll do a review and insight on that. Um, but this is a Battalion Carver 2017, 2018. Uh, they only made it in one size, 158. Um, has pretty wide waist width for just being one size. It's a uh, 260 waist width. I'm sorry, no. 261 millimeter waist width has an 8.7 meter side cut and uh, has 13 millimeters of taper, um, which is cool because um, that, that means that this board is a legit, uh, it's called the Carver for a reason. Amongst people that know about it, reviewers, uh, they, they say this thing just will shred your face off when it comes to carving. Um, has a super fast base. Um, decently wide waist width. My friend has size 12 boots and he fits on this board. Uh, he loves it. And uh, what's really cool about this board is like it does have Battalion's 3BT technology which is that flat spot right here in the middle and then you've got this spooned out effect going to the contact points. But it, with this board I've noticed that you know at the legit looks like widest part contact point um, it looks like the 3BT does not engage until up more right here. Um, which is super cool because that means that this board is going to ride more like a traditional board um, without that 3BT tech. It's going to have the edge hold of a traditional board, but it's going to have this 3BT up top, which is going to help you a crap ton in power. So um, that's going to be awesome to check out and see if that's true. And uh, when I look at this board, the camber wide, the camber style, uh, it is true, it's camber for sure. It doesn't have a crap ton of camber, like it's like, you know, like you know, super hard, but it, it's camber. Um, and it has this cool diamond tail right here at the end as well, like the donuts and the, and the gun. And then also, I mean, it's pretty stiff. It's a little cold out, but it's pretty stiff. So uh, it has all the, um, characteristics of a board that's going to carve extremely well and it has the characteristics of a board that can carve very well as well as handle pow really well so um i haven't ridden this board yet i know the base is super fast so i bet you it's super comparable to the nidecker bases it's probably centered eight thousand maybe nine thousand around there um but in general i'm very excited to ride this board because i would like to ride a battalion board that um you know, ever since I started writing these camber boards, these, these old school no tech camber boards, just straight up old school cambers, um, the edge hold on them is crazy different compared to a regular battalion in like more firmer snow. So I would love to write a battalion board that I can recommend to people that in the battalion line, they're like, I want the board that has the most edge hold, the board that can handle power really well still. Uh, is there a battalion like that? And I feel like the carver is going to be that board. So very excited to hop on this board, get it in some groomers, get it in some pow. Um, that way I can suggest to people like, yeah, dude, you don't have to go to another company to get that edge hold. You can get it in the battalion car. Let's see how much time I have. Yep, nope. Got 15 seconds left. So that's, I'm all out of time. That was the boards that I was going to suggest and talk about today. Um, great boards all around. Great boards.